Introduction to Relational Schemas, part of Database Management System course. In database design, the process of reducing an entity relationship model to a relational schema involves converting the ER diagram into a set of relational tables that can be implemented in a database management system. The ER model and the relational model are different ways of representing the structure of a database and they have different characteristics and features. The ER model is a high level model that is useful for conceptualized design while the relational model is a lower level model that is used to implement databases in a DBMS. To reduce an ER model to a relational schema, the following steps are typically followed. Identify the entities in the ER model and create a table for each entity. Each table will have a primary key column that uniquely identifies each row in the table. Identify the attributes of each entity and create a column for each attribute in the corresponding table. Identify the relationships between entities and determine how they will be represented in the relational schema. There are several ways to represent relationships in a relational schema, including foreign keys, many to many relationships. Normalize the relational schema to eliminate redundancy and ensure that the data is organized efficiently. Normalization involves dividing the data into smaller, more atomic tables and establishing relationships between the using foreign keys. By reducing the ER model to a relational schema, it is possible to implement the database in a DBMS and begin storing and manipulating data. The process of reducing an ER model to a relational schema is an important step in the database design process and it is a necessary to carefully plan and execute this process to ensure the resulting database is efficient and easy to use. Thank you for watching.